Shortly after filming this story, Australia lost to Turkey 3-1. Many religious groups have secret ceremonies, secret scriptures and secret regalia hidden from the outside world. I'd heard of one such Mormon secret and I needed to know more. So I headed off to Mormon Heartland, Salt Lake City, Utah, USA. But first I caught up with Christian minister and Mormon critic Bob Larson. As you probably discovered, they have all these secret ceremonies. They don't let you inside to see what's going on. I heard they have, um, like, magic underpants or something. Magic underwear, I call it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're sacred, sacred underwear. And they, don't, they won't talk about that. You try to get them to talk about it, and they don't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, we don't talk about it much, you know? And so there's, um, it's, 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 I mean, it's simple. When I've debated Mormons, I've always just said, let me see your underwear. Excuse me? Let me see your underwear. I want to see your sacred, your silly sacred underwear. You know, there's another side to this, a very superstitious side. For me, they are a feeling of protection. It's kind of like wearing a hug, I guess, is, is how I feel about them. And they have symbols on them. And they believe that these symbols have the power to protect them from evil. And, you know, they will love to tell you stories of soldiers going to war and bullets not penetrating them because of their sacred underwear and stuff like that. The lady was wearing a garment on the airplane and the airplane crashed and her body, her arms and legs all burned. But where the garment was, her body wasn't burned. A true devout Mormon will never, ever take off his underwear. If he takes a bath, he will lay the underwear <clears throat> to the side and keep one arm in the under the underwear while he's taking a bath or a shower. So I was off the hunt for the magic underpants. My name's Rob Savolka and I'm a missionary with Perosia Ministries and I'm trying to convert the whole state of Utah to traditional Christianity. These friends of mine, they're street preachers that come from all over the United States, they came here and they made a big controversy with them displaying this underwear, yeah. uh, uh, wearing, one guy was actually wearing women's uh, sacred, secret underwear. So you're not meant to wear the magic underwear unless you're a Mormon? Right. Okay. Yeah. Did he get you out of the Mormons? Well, uh, between him and Danny. Yeah. Oh yeah, now that, now that you're out of there, you can tell us about the magic underpants. <laughs> <laughs> They've got signs on them, yeah. And what, what do the signs mean? The Celtic priesthood and the um, ironic. ironic priesthood. Ironic priesthood? Aaron. Oh, ironic. Like oh, sorry. Aaron. Are they tight shorts or are they like a. They're a really tight. Oh, and, they, and they're shorts? Yeah. So you, the females they have to wear shorts down to there yeah. and then like a top? The maybe, like a t shirt. Then? Like oh, a tank top. T shirt like that. And then it's got the two little symbols yeah. on, the, on the nipples. Yeah. Oh, excellent. And it's two separate pieces, isn't it? You can order them two separately or you can. Wear them as one. It is unreal because no one will talk to us about the magic underpants. You can buy a set. Wait, wait, oh, really? where, 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 where can we buy the magic Down underpants? In the basement in JFMB. JSMB stands for the Joseph Smith Memorial Building, named after its founding prophet, Joseph Smith. In the basement, you can apparently purchase Mormon regalia. Because people were selling the sacred undergarments for thousands of dollars on eBay, a new church ruling required presentation of a church membership certificate before purchasing. I obviously didn't have one, but I thought with my Mormon-looking black pants and white shirt, it was worth a shot. I was looking to buy some undergarments. Yes. Um, what size? <laughs> I'm all confused now. You don't have a tape measure on you. Uh -huh. From Australia, we've got centimetres, so it's, oh, like, yeah. it's all different. Centimetres, okay. 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Guess what I got? You got the garbage. I got the magic underpants. <laughs> How much are they? I'm going to put them on in the hotel. No, I forgot if you mentioned the slit on the knee. Oh, yeah, there's the a slit on the knee, too. Oh, of these? Yeah. And what, what does the slit on the knee mean? I don't it's, remember. It's that every knee will bow. It's supposed to remind you that every knee will bow to Christ at the uh, last day and confess that he's Lord. But this is all masonry. The guy said there was a thing in the leg, like a... There was a cut in the leg to remind you to kneel before the Lord. I don't know where that is. This is bullshit. It's got no... It's oh. got the um, set square there. So sort of set square there. Little thing on the belly. 
What does it all mean? Well, Mormon founder Joseph Smith was a Freemason, and he appropriated that secret society's symbols. The set square to remind the Mormon to deal squarely with his fellow man. The compass to remind him to keep in due bounds with all mankind. And the navel mark recalls the need for constant nourishment for body and spirit. Even though I wasn't a Mormon, as I lay in bed that night, I really did feel a lot more secure in my magic Masonic Mormon underpants. Did you know, later that night, John was attacked by a bear, but